Welcome back, everyone. It's Shirley here again, and we're going to be working on sections YY and UU, and those are what I'm calling our little kitty eyes. The pattern pieces that you're going to be needing are on page 14 and on page 17 of your pattern booklet. So what I did different than the other videos is I have taken and used some scotch removable poster tape and it is double sided and it's double sided removable adhesive and all I've done is taken and put a couple of little pieces of it on my pattern and I just cut off a couple of little strips and then I used a pin just to remove the backing and I now have a sticky area to put my removable tape on and again with the sticky side up and I just laid that over top of my pattern piece. Now for our color placement I've taken my light box and I have compared my YY section to this piece here. Now if you notice Again, it is in the reverse from what it should be. Why, why, when you turn this over, let's remove this off of here. When you turn it over, why, why corresponds to section UU. And the color placement, I'll go through them. And for your color placement. Now, while wow, UU and YY are not the same, they're not exactly the same. Uh, the YY section has 25 pieces and the UU has 26 pieces, so they're not identical. So what I did was I took my pattern pieces and I colored in according to what was on the pattern booklet from page 26. And you can see where the color placement for the white is and these lines here will correspond to this side when you turn it over. So the light box will help you see that YY, I'll just put a piece of paper under there and maybe you can see it better. But the YY section, although this says UU, it's the YY section. So in this area here, I've determined that these pieces here are going to be cut from our white fabric and the others are going to be cut from black. So I'll go through and I will show you that I have my pattern pieces cut from my fabric and I've laid them in order. So we'll go through, UU is going to be black. Uh, number one is black. Now I'm gonna find number two, which is over here. Two is going to be white. Three is going to be white. Four is going to be white. Five is white. 
6 is white, 7 is white, 8 is white, 9 is white, 10 and 11 are white, and then we skip over to number 12. Number 12 is down at the bottom and it's going to be black. And 13 is going to be black. And then we have 14, which is going to be black. 15 is going to be black. 16 black. And 17 is going to be white. 18 black, 19 black, 20 is black, and 21, which is a tiny, tiny little piece, that one is going to be black. Uh, did I say, okay, 21 is black, 22 is black, 23 is black, 24 is black, and 25 is white and 26 is white. So I have my pattern piece here and this is my stitching piece. So I will get set up and we'll start putting section UU, which is actually YY, together. We're going to be making two of the section and this actually is YY. So we're gonna set that aside. I'm going to take my removable sticky tape and because I put my double-sided removable tape on here and just set it over top so I can place my pattern pieces back on there and then that's not going to slide around and I won't get it stuck to anything else. Um, again, what I've used is the Scotch removable poster tape and it is double-sided. Okay, let's get started. So the first piece, I'll turn my pattern pieces over. So the first piece that we're going to add on is our piece number one, which I have cut out here. And I'm going to get rid of those. So U, U1 is going to be placed in behind this section here. So I'm just going to remove my pattern piece, place it on my piece here and I'm going to place it remember this is wrong side up that I cut my fabrics and I'm just going to place it in behind and if I look I can see that it's covering all the areas that I need so I'm just going to take it to the iron and I'm going to press it down like so going to just flip it over and press in that section. So now I have UU1, number one, in place. I'm going to fold it along the line between one and two, and then I'll do my trimming. Okay, so I'm going to cut a quarter of an inch away trim that off and the next section is number two. So I'm going to refer to my pattern on this side and that 
is the way it's going to go on. So I just flip this over and I'm going to place it on like that. And remember, this is cut wrong side up, so I just need to put my right sides together. And I'm going to stitch along the edge of the paper. I'm kind of a bit of out of practice here, so I'm going to take this to the sewing machine and I'm going to stitch along that line right there. Okay, I've gone ahead and I've stitched along the line between one and two. And I'm going to take my little number two off and place it back on my pattern here. Just so I don't lose it. And now again, like we did in all the other videos, I'm going to flip it over, give it a finger press, use my water brush, run that along the seam line, just like I did in all the other videos, fold it and give it a finger press, and then just press that into position. And again, just press from the paper side and we're just pressing the area because we don't want that to stick to our mat because I'm using the freezer paper. So now we're going to add number three. So I'll fold along the line between two and three. And again with the add a quarter, just trim away that excess. Take our number three piece, and number three is right there. So I'm going to place it so it matches the position flip this over, take my number three off, place it onto the paper, and then I won't lose that. Right sides together, and again, stitch along that line. So I'll take that to the sewing machine, and I'll be right back. Okay, I've stitched along, <clears throat> pardon me, I've stitched along the line between two and three. And I'm going to fold it like this, run my water brush along, and again, do the same thing as I did in all the other videos. And just finger press, and then press with the iron. Okay, now between three and four, trim. And now take section four, line it up, right sides together. Take my pattern piece off and place it down. So now I'm going to be filming this and I am going to be putting it into fast forward. Oops. Remember if you want to see me stitching this or anything like that, just leave a 
comment in the comment section below the video and I'll be more than happy to show you in other sections of me sewing it on the sewing machine. But for now, I'm just going to take this to the sewing machine and just stitch down that. And so I will continue on. And...
I've completed up to 11 and now I'm going to start on the black pieces which number 12 is down at the bottom just under U5 and U6. I'm going to fold that back along that line just like I did before and trim using the quarter inch at a quarter ruler. So I'll continue on with 12. I've completed number 13 and now I'm going to go on to number 14 and number 14 is right here so I'll be doing 14, 15 and 16 in this section above you the 8, 9, 10. So I'll go ahead and do that right now.
So I've finished this section of the UU, and now we're going to go on to number 17, which is our white piece of fabric. So we're going to fold number 17 along this line right here. Fold it back. Trim. And then place our number 17 into position. And again, we're going to stitch just like we did before. completed up to number 20 and I'm just going to give that another press just so it sticks down a bit 
Now 21 is a very tiny piece and it is situated just below the 17 on the right hand side. So I'm going to fold along the line between 17 and 21. So that is how that is going to be placed there. Set that off to the side, fold this back. And trim off. So number 21 is going to be placed right in behind here. My piece is big enough. I cut it big enough on all sides so that it should fit in there quite nicely. Just take that little piece off and put it right back in there just in case I make a big boo-boo and have to cut it out again. I finished stitching that little tiny piece in along 21 there. So I'm going to put this into position and fold it back. Give it a little finger press. This is a small piece, so I'm doing a little finger press before. And now I'm just going to give that my water brush. Finger press it into position and then press it with the iron. Okay, I've done 21, now I'm going to do 22. So I'll fold along the 22 and the 21 there, making sure I'm folding it along that exact line. Now we're going to take our little 22 piece and I'm going to see which way and which direction it's going to be fitting in there so I know it's going to go like that. I'm going to fold this back. Place right sides together. Take my 22 off, stick it back on there, and now I'll stitch down this line right here.
last step now is just trimming away the excess from the outer edges. Okay, that's what it looks like from the right side. So now we're going to trim and we're going to use the add a quarter ruler. And remember, we're trimming along the dotted line. The solid line is going to be our seam line. So we want to make sure that we're trimming on the outer edge or along that dotted line. Do that to all four sides. And now when we turn this to the finished position, we've done UU, which is this side here. But remember, I said that these two are reversed. So now when I put it into the finished position, you can see where it corresponds to the YY section. And here's the first one I did. And again, we need two of these because we have two kitties. in the entire pattern. Okay, now I'm gonna go on to the YY section, which is constructed exactly the same way as the other. I'm going to go on to that. I'll put these aside. So for section YY, if you look, I will give you the color placement for section YY. And I have my pieces cut and one is going to be black. Two, which is right there, is going to be white. Three, white. Four, white. Five, white. Six, white. Seven, white. Eight, 9, 10, 11 are going to be white. And now we go on to number 12, which is up at the top section here. That is going to be black. 13 is black. And 14 is black. We're now going to go down to 15, which is at the bottom. And that is going to be black. 
16 also black and we should have finished this section in here so we finished with 16 17 is white now here we have another tiny tiny little piece and it is 18 and it is black so we're going from 16 17 18 19 is black and 20 is black Now we're going to 21, which is down at the bottom, and it is black. 22 is black at the bottom. 23 is black. 24 is white. And 25 is white and it's kind of come off so I'll just because it's freezer paper I can mark it back or iron it back on there and it's going to stay in position so I've got all my pieces all done there I have my pattern piece all folded with freezer paper and I do have double-sided sticky tape on here I have my piece of just removable, and remember this is a removable tape. So this is removable tape, but it's only on one side. So I can place that over top. And now make sure it sticks down because of course I had problems with it sticking to my hand and everything. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and start putting that together, and I will do that in Fast Forward so as not to bore you. Remember, if you have any questions or if there's anything I can help you with, make sure you leave a comment in the comment section below the video, and I'll be more than happy to help you.
I lost a bit of video there, and where we had left off, I believe, was I had put in section 13, and I was working on 14. So I did put on 14, and then the next one is... 15 and 16 and then I went on to 17 which is this section 18 and 19 is here and I'm now working on 20 so I'm going to fold this back along 20 and I apologize for that so I'll trim along 20 I'm going to put 20 in place and stitch along the line between 19 and 20. So we've stitched along the line between 19 and 20. And we'll continue on. Next is 21, and that's found at the bottom of 17. We're going to fold that back along that line, and again trim.
Okay, we're down to the last piece, and that is number 25. I'm going to fold it along the line between 24 and 25. We'll trim that off like we did before. Now I'm going to stitch along that line. Now here I'm pressing, giving this whole section a good press before I trim off the excess fabric around the edges. Again, remember we're trimming quarter of an inch away from that stitching line, which is we're trimming along the dotted line. And our YY section is done. I can set my pattern pieces aside, use them again if I need to. And here is the YY section, which when turned to the finished position, corresponds to the UU section. And our next step is to put our whole kitty head together and we'll start assembling the kitty head.